to be healthy. Jim Hyam, uh, Assistant Chief of the Navy Staff Ships. So uh, tell me about um, Portsmouth and how important it is that we take part in the D-Day celebration. So in my last job as Naval Base Commander Portsmouth, I was lucky enough to understand a little bit more about the incredibly close relationship that Portsmouth and the Royal Navy have and also on many occasions met some of the fabulous uh, veterans that still live in the area. And um, it just strikes me that for both the city and the Navy, it's a wonderful privilege to be able to lead the nation's celebrations of D-Day uh, and all that those incredible men and women did uh, in the build-up to D-Day and long after it. So why became Portsmouth five years on that you still remember the veterans? Well, every time I meet them and speak to them, I think the more stories I hear, the more bowled over I am by what those people achieved for us, uh, for, the, for the nation and for the world on that day. I think I, I've served uh, for 30 years now, and I think as a professional soldier, sailor or airman, there's the expectation of having to, um, to, to serve to defend your nation and its interests at times. But what strikes me about these veterans is, is they, they didn't grow up with that expectation. They might have been butchers, bakers, uh, school children, and yet they did what needed to be done uh, for their nation when it was asked of them. Uh, and I find that incredibly humbling. And you had a familial connection to the Second World War, so tell me a little bit about that. So my, my family's link is my grandfather on my mother's side. Uh, he had the fabulous name of Godfrey Percy Aperenshaw, and just like me, he was an engineer in the Royal Navy had a really interesting war story on a number of different ships uh, but latterly he was on HMS Penelope on the Malta convoys and she became something of a cause celeb in the war she was attacked on many an occasion and the Stuka dive bombers put so many 20 millimeter holes in her hull uh, that she became known as HMS Pepperpot because she resembled a pepper pot she was visited by the king uh, on a lot of different newsreel and, and became known as the unsinkable ship uh, but unfortunately, uh, she was sunk. Uh, a German U-boat sunk her uh, uh, towards the end of the war uh, off the coast of Italy, uh, and my grandfather was lost in that uh, in that action. So even though I never met my grandfather, he was absolutely part of my upbringing because his family lived in Plymouth. He was based on a Portsmouth ship, and so his name was on the Portsmouth War Memorial at Southsea. And so growing up, my mother uh, and her mother never had the chance to um, remember at that war memorial on, on the 11th of uh, November. So it's a fantastic privilege for me last year uh, to be able to remember with the people of Portsmouth and South Sea at the memorial where um, his name is etched. Uh, and also throughout my naval career, whenever I was stationed in, uh, in Portsmouth, my mum would always ask me uh, in or around November to go and put a poppy cross by his name. <laughs>